I'm Vicki Proctor and this is Water Week. And you know, water is kind of a, a precious commodity, especially when you're out doing things like we are today or if you get into backpacking sometime. But let's talk about how um, we're going to have good safe water to drink. So I, I wanna give you a, a scenario first and have you guys do a little guessing here. Um, there's a, a saying, well it's not a saying, it's a fact. You shouldn't drink any water from any water source outdoors without purifying. So I'm talking, you know, rivers, lakes, streams, any, any body of water, puddles. Um, but at some point in time, you may be in a dire strait and you need to, to drink water. So we're talking maybe life and death, death situation here, but um, I'm gonna give you three bodies of water and I want you guys to think if you had to drink water, which one would you prefer to drink out of? So I always give this story. Um, so there's a crystal clear river. Um, I'm picturing Colorado or the mountains and it's coming out of the mountains, maybe the Smoky Mountains, a lot of you have been there, but it's crystal clear, it's flowing, it's pretty, you can see through it, it's bubbling, it's ice cold because it just came out of the snow. So that's your one source of water. The second source of water is a big lake and you have um, a river coming in and you have a river leaving. So the water kind of, you know, flows in and out, but you have this lake, that's your second water source. So you have the stream, you have the lake, and then you have that small pond that has all the pond scum, the duckweed, you know, all the stuff kind of on top and you have all the frogs and bugs running around. There's your three water sources. So if you had to pick the one to drink that would be the safest, which one would you guys pick? So I'm gonna say, how many of you would pick the crystal clear stream? Okay, think about that. How many of you would pick the lake? Cause that's uh, you know, cleaner water than the pond. And then how many of you would pick the pond with the scum and the duckweed and all that on, on top? So how many of you said probably the crystal clean? Probably a lot of you. How many of the lake? Probably some of you. How many picked the scum? Uh, the pond. I bet hardly any of you picked that. So the right answer is the pond with the scum on it. So what we're talking about is in your water you have this bacteria, it's called Giardia. And you have a lot of other things too, but Giardia is something that once you drink it in your water, you might be fine for a week and all of a sudden you don't feel good. You have diarrhea, your stomach hurts, you feel horrible for days and it's really gross. So when you have that crystal clean stream, the Giardia is still rolling and splashing along with the water. So that's not really good to drink because it's right there and fresh. When it comes into the lake, that might be a little better because it has a little chance to settle, but it's still, you have water in and water out. So it's still moving. The best source to drink, if you have to drink unpurified water, is the pond because there's no water in or out. It's sitting there and everything in it settles to the bottom. So while it may look kind of gross, just move some of that stuff back, let some of the particles settle and you can drink that. And I'm not going to guarantee that's, you know, you're going to be totally safe, but you're going to be safer with that than your other water sources. So let's talk about more pleasant ways to purify our water than just going out and, and drinking it. Um, so I have three different methods here and I wanted to show you each one. So uh, one that most of you probably have heard of is um, you can boil your water. So if you're backpacking or even out camping, you have a little stove. I do have some water in here. So you can turn that on let it boil, bring it to a full boil, let it boil for a while. That's gonna actually kill everything in that water. Now, the bad thing about this is, let's say you're really thirsty right now, and this is all sanitized, we have good water, but it's still really hot. So you're gonna have to wait a long time for that to cool down where you can drink it. Um, the other thing too, is if you have to cook food and do all that, you're using a lot of fuel. So it's quick and efficient, but not so much so if you're out for a long time because you're using fuel, you can't drink it right away. And you might want to try that. Boil it, let 
let it settle for a while, let it cool off and then drink it. It really doesn't taste that great because it has like no taste. So it's not refreshing water. It's just kind of like flat water that's been boiled. So that's one method for purifying water. Another method is purifying tablets. And you can buy these at sporting goods stores, Walmart. Um, they used to just sell one, now they sell two. And I'll tell you about this. So we'll have the photographer come in here or the video person. And I want you to see these little tablets. So these are like little iodine tablets. And they're really small. And what they are is they're meant to go in a water bottle. So you all probably have water bottles when you go to camp. And so I have new clean water. And what you do is you take one and drop it in there. And it doesn't purify quickly. It takes about 20 minutes. So what you want to do is let it sit in there. After a little bit, maybe five minutes, swish your water around. And before you are ready to drink, you really need the threads could still have the old water. So you want to be able to let a little come out so that the threads also get purified. And then after 20 minutes, you're ready to go. Now, I haven't used any fuel. That's really easy. I only have to wait 20 minutes as opposed to probably hours for this to cool down and be decent enough to drink. Um, the only thing wrong with this now is if you taste it, you're going to go... Oh, what is that taste? So if you're a backpacker, you get used to that. It's an iodine taste. But what we like to do is we put powdered water or um, flavoring in it. So cherry, grape, whatever. That way you don't taste the iodine. Okay. So there is a little bit of a taste. Now what they did is after you got used to that iodine taste and you got to be where you didn't have to do that anymore, they actually took a second tablet and this you put in after that tablet is all done and it actually takes the, the taste away. So now the only problem is you have to carry two bottles. So you put one of those in, wait 20 minutes, and then you put this in and it takes away all the taste. Okay. So I'm going to get ready to, to show you the next one. So we'll take a, just a quick break. All right. So we can boil our water. We can use purifying tablets. But um, another method is, and if you go places, you'll start to see um, water filters. And I'm going to show you, this is one that we use, if you come backpacking with us, we use these. We use the water purifying tablets, but we also use these. This comes in three parts. So what you have is, this is our pump and our filter. So it doesn't look like much right now. Here's our pump, it goes up and down. And in this is a filter, a water filter. Now you have to make sure that your water filter takes out all the giardia. That's what we were talking about, the bacteria that can make you sick. So it has to be a really good one. And when we're out backpacking or we have, here's our water source down here. Um, we wanna make sure that this is clean. So what we do, this has a couple parts and pieces. So um, these are all kind of different, but they work similar. So I'm going to put this little hose on right here. So this hose, and we'll put it in the water, but this has a little, this is where, um, this goes in the water and it has this outside, it's kind of a, oh, it has like a little filter in itself to get the big particles out, like leaves and big pieces. And then it's, the water's pulled up through the pipe and then how do you get it into your water bottle? So the other piece that goes with this is another tube. And this comes up here and it fits on the top of the filter. Got to make sure those are on good or they'll pop open. And this, if you have, I have a, a smaller mouth bottle, so that's not going to fit on. So I would just have to hold that there. But a lot of these will probably fit your water bottle and it goes right on there. So. Um, I'm going to have, uh, we'll do this. I just happen to have another bowl sitting here out in the woods so that you can see this. So I want you to see how this actually works. So this is going to go in my water bottle, but that's going to go right there for now. This is going to go in the water. So you want to put this in the, the lake or the stream somewhere where there's not a lot of, 
you know, floaty stuff or more calm water. And this little sponge here, or a little foam, um, it just depends. You don't want this to sit in the bottom because what's it going to do? It's going to suck all the mud out and you're going to have muddy water. Might be clean, but it's still muddy looking. Um, so you want to situate that so this is like hanging in the water, not down in the mud. So we can't really do that, but I'm just going to set that in the water so that you can see. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start pumping and slow but sure okay so i don't know if you can see that but here we go ready the water's coming out in my water bottle so this is really nice because you get with your buddy and your buddy can hold this in their water bottle so that is a, a water filtering and i've got my buddy coming over here ducky you've met ducky before Hello. so here we go so this goes fairly quickly, so I can do mine, the next person can do theirs, but anyway, so that's a, a filter, and you can pay, you know, a, a reasonable price, or these go clear up to around $100, so $50, $60, $100, they're not cheap, but they'll last a long time, you won't only have to change the filter out. So if you run into Walmart, everybody goes to Walmart, go in the camping section, they probably wouldn't have this brand, but they do have some of these. The other things, too, that they have that I don't have with me is you can look. They have a, a ton of stuff that'll purify water. They have, like, drinking straws you can stick down in the water and drink, and it has the filter in it, like a straw or a pen, and um, all sorts of different ways to purify your water. So, but be careful. You want to read the instructions because it's going to tell you it really needs to say what all it, it cuts out and if Giardia is what you're looking for. If it doesn't mention that it filters out Giardia, then it's probably not a good filter. So, alrighty. So, I think that that gives you a couple variations on purifying water. And it just, it's a personal preference. Um, I don't boil water. And I actually don't carry a filter because to me, that's a, it's heavier and bulkier. I'd rather call carry the little tablets and some drink mix so I don't taste the iodine and that's a whole lot lighter and you know takes less room but all three methods are great so I guess you know in conclusion you know when you're out and about you know a take plenty of water with you especially days like this that are really hot and if you are you know stranded somewhere I know that um, you know, there's ways to get water out of the environment, but look for water and don't forget to purify it because um, you don't want to, a week or two later, suddenly end up going, oh no, what's wrong? So it might be that water that you drank out of the creek or the stream. So, all right, thanks. We'll catch you later.